Hello and welcome to GeoGuessr. So this is a fun little game that you can play in your browser for free that I found out about recently. And basically what it is, is it is based around Google Maps Street View and you are placed in a random place in the world and you have to figure out where you are. Just based on what you can find. And no through road. So we're probably in an English. We're definitely in an English-speaking country. And this makes you think we're probably in America, but might not be. Okay, no, we're definitely not in America. I'm not sure where we are, honestly. Might be in Canada. I could see this being Canada. We're near some kind of airport. Forget what it said. But, control's fairly simple. Just click around, or you can click these things. And, yeah. Alright. So let's keep looking around, see what we can find. You could Google things if you wanted to, like this, but... I don't know. I find it more interesting not to do that. So we're near an Armadale somewhere. Was that that I just saw? Okay. That's definitely not an American or a Canadian speed limit sign. Which means we are probably in either the UK or Australia. We might be in Australia. This doesn't look a whole lot like the UK. I don't know where in Australia we could be, but maybe I could find one of these roads or something. Let's see. There's a 30. Let's six, get this map bigger. Let's see if we can find a 30 around here somewhere. Yeah, okay. Oh, hey, there's a 30. I was going to say, these blue numbers are Australian highways. So there is the 30. And it's a very big highway. There's Albany. What's the Albany Highway? Might be this. Yeah, this is the Albany Highway. Okay. So we're probably heading towards Albany. And let's actually go back to start to see what other roads we were near. Now that we've established we are in Australia near Perth. Am I even going the right way? I'm probably not. I'm pretty sure I'm not going the right way. So let's go this way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the way I went. Alright, let's keep going this way and get onto the highway. What else were we near? We are near an Armadale and a four. So where's a four? Oh, there's Armadale. Okay, so we're right around here somewhere. So then... Oh, here's the four. So let's just put it around here as a preliminary guess. Then we will revise that based on what else we can find. So we are near an airport. Uh, let's see, is there an airport around here somewhere? Might not be in this town specifically. I don't know if I'll be able to see it on this level of zoom. I probably can't. But we're right around there. So let's see if we can figure out what else we are near. When you're a Kudel and a Midland. Yeah, Armadale's this way. So I guess we're on the floor right now. Let's see. It's based on this little compass here, I think we're on a north-south road, which means, yeah, we're probably on the 4 here. Well, we could also be on the 30. I'm not sure, to be honest. But... Let's just kind of go around a bit more, see what I can find. 
Okay, so this way means that we are on the four right now. So then where is the 30 exactly? Because I saw it was around here somewhere. Let's go here, then. Uh, actually, wait, that sign will tell us something. It will indeed tell us something. Did we go back to the start? Yeah. Oh, what? That sign tells us what city we're in. We're in the city, uh... Can't quite read that, but I think it says, like, Cosnells or something. Right. See if we can find it around here. Hmm. I'm not seeing it, but maybe I'm just not getting a good enough look at it. It says, like, Connells or something like that. Well, we're definitely on a, a pit road right now. So let's see if we can find that around here somewhere. <clears throat> Are any of these like a pit road? Possibly somewhere. I don't know if we're actually gonna find it. It's definitely not this cameo place. Well. Let's see. Doesn't seem like I'm going to find anything else about where we are. So I think I'll just go with this and see how we do. Should be pretty close. Uh, okay, we were up here. Yeah, there's the pit road. So we're on the 4, then going down towards the 30. Okay, I see now. Uh, well, it's a desert. Precaution. That is Spanish. So, just based on the deserty look of this, I'm thinking... Probably Argentina, possibly Chile? What'd that sign say? I want to see what that says. Uh, RN40. Wow, 37 to 08. <laughs> 3,700 kilometers is a lot. <laughs> this is a very long highway. Let's see. Do we have any of those... Any of the roads like that in Argentina with an RN? It might not show it. But... <laughs> we are quite clearly on a very, very long road. And so I'm thinking we might actually be in Chile. It's also possible we might be in Mexico. And I'm just way off. So let's see if we can, with a quick look, see if any of these states look like an RN. If we saw an RN, I could be way off and trying to think as uh, it's like one of the states or provinces. No, not seeing any RN. It doesn't seem like it shows any of the, let's put it around here, it's just kind of a guess, any of the provinces on the map at this level of zoom for Chile and Argentina, unlike, say, like, Brazil or Mexico or the U.S. even. So let's look around a bit more, see if maybe we could find a website. URL that tells us something, possibly? I'm not really sure. Maybe one of these trucks will tell me something. Uh, let's see. No. Uh, it's a dot com. That doesn't tell me anything, unfortunately. But I'm thinking we're probably in either Argentina or Chile. Possibly. I'm not really sure, but possibly Chile. 
I've had ones like this in both Chile and Argentina before. Oh, right, there we're going this way now. Let's just look around a bit to see if we can find anything that will at least give us an idea of what country we're in. And if not, then I'll probably go with Chile due to the length of the road. Although it could just as easily be with our Argentina. I might just put it in, like, Western Argentina so that I have, like, a good shot at getting a decent score if it's in either one of those. What does this say? Oh, uh, just precaution. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I am going to find anything. Hmm. Well, I guess if I'm not going to find anything, I'll put it, say, probably around here. Cause if it's such a high kilometer number, we're probably in the north. Let's go with it, see how we do. And, in case you weren't already able to tell, you get a score on a 1 to 5,000 scale based on how close you are. Okay, we were in Argentina. We're on this 40 road here. So. I don't know where the RN comes from. Maybe it's just. doesn't mean anything, but yeah, this road goes like all the way down the 40. Alright, 250 miles isn't terrible. The red dirt makes me think we're probably in Brazil. But it's also possible that we could be elsewhere. Uh, let's see. Yep, we are. We're in Brazil. I don't know Portuguese or Spanish or anything like that, so I don't think I'm going to be able to really figure out where we are. But. Based on the fact that it seems like we're in a pretty jungly rural area, I don't know. I'm probably completely wrong on this, but let's put it somewhere around there. Alright, we're over here. Yeah, I mean, there was no way I was gonna find this little road here. Hmm, this is a crazy little place. I don't even know what to think of this place. <laughs> hmm. S seems like Span looks like Spanish, so might be like Argentina or Chile again. What did this say? Peru. Okay. So we are in Peru somewhere. So we're like in this little area, that little country somewhere. And it looks like we're on the coast. So probably along like that area somewhere. This is a crazy looking place. Uh, that doesn't seem like a name of a place. Don't think we're gonna find anything about where we are exactly, but let's look around a bit just in case. I mean, a lot of this game is just guessing in a general area and hoping you get lucky. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'm really going to find anything about where I am. So let's put it say around, like... We seem to be on a 
very, very long roads. It's maybe along here, except it's kind of right up against the coast. Or... I think this gets a bit closer. Let's put it, like, say, around there. Wild guess. Okay, we were near the bottom of Peru. But we're on mostly the right road. Probably the same road, honestly. <clears throat> Lots of forest and no signs. Alright. Interesting. With nothing else to go off of, I would say we might be in Scandinavia, but... Could be way off on that. Okay, I'm pretty sure that we're in... Either Sweden or Finland. Because I don't see Norway pop up very often in my experience with this game. So let's see. Hmm. Can we at least find like a road number or something? So if I could find a road number, I could probably get a pretty good idea of where we are. Seem to be in a fairly remote area. Let's see. I'm just not even going to attempt to pronounce any of this because I would completely fail. We are on a 5824. So just kind of out of curiosity, do they have roads like that? With four digits in blue color in Sweden. It doesn't seem like it. Let's look, say, here at your Stockholm. I mean, they might. Looks more like triple digits, though, rather than four digits. So let's pop a look into Finland and look for a 5824 or something similar. Let's Say around here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really seeing it around here either. It's I'm just kind of zooming up here. Okay, yeah, they do have it in Finland. Just have to zoom in a lot to see it. So that was like 9,000, so it's 8,000. Zoom out and look more down here. Alright, 5,600. Should be pretty close. Let's look around a bit, see what we can find. I'm looking for a 5,824. So there's 5,850. 5,780. Hmm. There's a 21, but I'm looking for a 24. There's the 5824. And it's. Where is this? Seems like it's this. Little road here. And it keeps going. Is this 5024? No, I think it ends here. Oh, no, it keeps going down here. I just want to see, like, how big of a road exactly we are looking at. And it would appear as if it keeps going this way. This is a very confusing road. Finland is very confusing. Okay, and it ends here. So we're near this little city here. So now, let's see what else we are near. Hmm. I think I'll go back. I thought I saw signs with some city names before. Or town names or whatever. 
but we're on this crazy little 5824 road. Uh, hmm. I was pretty sure I saw something back this way. But I don't even know anymore. This game's just turning me around, and I don't like that. I'm pretty sure we went this way. I'll just go back to the... I'm just going back to the start and going... Attempting to go back the way I came. See if... Maybe I can figure out where it was, what I saw. So I might be able to get, like... 5,000 on this, possibly, if I get lucky and figure out exactly... What I'm looking for. Where I'm looking. Okay, yes, we saw this before. Looking for this. Varpanen. And yeah, I did say before that I wasn't going to attempt to pronounce the stuff, but... This is a easier one, easier word. Um, so where does this 5824 go exactly? And 5822 here. And it keeps going back this way. Am I missing any city names at this level of zoom? Possibly. Seems like it's alright. Okay, yeah, this level of soup is what I should be looking at. Actually, what I think is happening is since we're going off that way, I'm probably zoomed in too much, and I'm not gonna see it. So let's just see maybe if we can figure out what's. Streets we're near. Hmm. Let's dig it on this little road here. So we're near that. What's the D eight twenty four called? Okay, it's that. And we're looking for that. Hmm. Okay, so it ends here and becomes the five sixty three. So, let's look for that. That crazy little word. And what? Oh, 524 goes this way. Alright. Yeah, Finland and their crazy double vowels. It's just gonna be easier to not even attempt to pronounce that. That's not what I'm looking for, not what I'm looking for. It's kind of close, but not what I'm looking for. I hope I didn't miss anything, but I might have missed it. That's not it. Does this have a name? Doesn't seem like it does. That's not it. Hmm. I'm looking for something with those two eyes and an L. Am I still in the 5824 here? No, it goes this way. Just want to make sure I'm not going off the road. That would not be good. Not what I'm looking for. Uh, okay, yes, this is what I'm looking for. So we're right around here. And then I guess this goes towards that city that we saw before. I don't know if I'm going to find it, but this is right around where we are. 
So now let's go back to the star and see where we were going to get to there. We we're going kind of in a an angle. Very broad angle, which makes me think we're probably around like maybe here. Let's actually turn around and go the other way. See if I can find a street that intersects it. That doesn't seem to have any name. So I'm pretty sure we might be able to get 5,000. Or at least very close to it. If I could do really good, I might be able to get up into the low 18,000s. Uh, let's see. Okay. Just looking for a horseman. <laughs> Is there a horseman around here somewhere? I don't know. But it looks like if I go back, the road comes to a fork. Which means it actually might be around here. Well, where is that street we saw before? Oh, this is it. That's not what I'm looking for. Hmm. Could we maybe be around here? I'm not sure. Oh, is this that street? Were we on that street and going on to the 5824? I didn't actually consider that. Okay. So we might have actually started on this street here, and we were going on to the 5824. Alright. Interesting. Let's just see a quick look around. Maybe we can find a street that intersects it. A street with a name, preferably. Hmm. I thought that was one of the things I saw before that would when I was looking around the 1524 hmm yeah I was pretty sure I saw it before around here somewhere let's look around to find it again it's not it might have gone farther than I initially Thought. It's not it. Maybe it was the other way. I'm not really sure, honestly. Let's see if we can find that road again and follow it around and see if it does intersect that other road we were looking for. Hmm. I'm not seeing it. But I'm pretty sure I saw that name before. So let's just do one more look, see if maybe we can't find it. That's not it. Because it's like in LA, this is LA. Maybe I was looking in the wrong direction and I saw it farther down. So that's not it. It's two A's. I'm not actually sure where it was, in all honesty. But I'm pretty sure that I saw that road before when I was looking down. 
Let's just kind of zoom in occasionally, see if any of this has names. Hmm. Does that have a name? Oh, that's the same thing. That doesn't seem like it has a name. Oh, 524 goes up here. Whoops. I was going off the road. Hmm. Doesn't seem like that has a name. That's where we were at before. Any of this have names? There's a lot of roads that don't have names. Do that or Google Maps is just bad. Hmm. It's a tough one. Let's put a background there, because that's what I was considering. Let's look down at this road and see if it gets intersected at all by that. It's possible that... Oh, no, there it is. So, I would imagine that we're probably, like, around here, maybe? Or actually... Hmm. No, I think we were going the... this way. So, let's see just how far we had to go to get to that. So I'm pretty sure it was going this way. Just this little road here, that's one road. That's right near where we started. It doesn't seem to have a name. There's another little road, looks like. That doesn't seem to have a name. Um, another little road. Several little roads that don't seem to have any kind of name. And actually going farther than I thought. Uh, is this what I was seeing before? Hmm. Um, it's 503A. Can I see that if I zoom out some? Hmm. I don't know. Let's. Where was it? Was this or. Where was that crazy little road I was looking for? It was one of these, I think. Yeah, it was this. It's actually... Uh, put it maybe around... Say... Here? Let's go with it. Should be pretty close. But I might have been going the opposite way that I... I think I was. Ah, so close to perfect 5,000. That was this little road I was thinking of. Alright. 400 meters in Finland is not bad. Not bad at all. 18,000. It's mostly these little Spanish areas that throw me off. Let's go at it again. Mm, not sure how many of these I'm going to do per episode. This is mostly kind of a trial run, I guess, to see if I actually want to make this into a series, but... Terrible quality means that we are in either America or Australia. We're not just terrible, basically garbage quality. And just looking at the road, I'm pretty sure these yellow lines means that we are in America. 
But I would like to look around a little bit just to see. On the off chance that I'd be able to actually read something. If I can get some kind of confirmation of what state we're in. You disappoint me, Road. Let's see, let's just go around this way a bit. Let's see what we can find. And it doesn't seem like we're gonna find anything, so let's turn around and go the other way. I also want to expand this. Not seeing anything here either, so what time for a wild guess. Actually wait, here's a little sign. What does this say? I want you to know what you say. You are not going to tell me anything. So I could see it kinda of being around this area somewhere. Let's put it like around there maybe. <laughs> Alright, I would have. Not terrible. That's it looks like US again. What where could we be? We're on a forty five and looks like Ohio. Hmm. Uh yeah, I think this is Ohio. So let's see if we can find a forty five in Ohio. No. Let's see. Is there a 45 around here somewhere? It's kind of hard to tell sometimes if you're actually in the right state because the boundaries aren't that well defined in Google Maps. But there is a 49 and a 47, so. We could potentially be around here. Let's just kind of put it around here as a preliminary guess in case I cannot find that little 45. I always seem to find everything like except what I'm looking for. That gets annoying. So it's like 48, 47, 49. And no 45 to be found. I actually probably don't want to zoom in that much. There's 46. Oh, this might be what I'm looking for, 45. Let's see. I was looking for like a Warren. <laughs> This it was. I've already forgotten where that 45 was. It was somewhere around here? Yeah, there's 45. That's just gonna put it around there. Could be looking at the wrong 45, but. Exit 223. Okay. Interesting. So if we're, that makes me think that we're probably around maybe Interstate 78 and we're exiting onto here? Or 75? Yeah, this is 75, not 78. Potentially. This is the exit, so can we not go in there? Damn it, Google, why you do this to me? I want to go in there and you're not letting me. I was guessing this is the little bridge. Maybe the next exit we'll be able to get out onto. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That sign I think confirms what I was thinking. Oh, we're on Interstate 90. Okay. 
So, that means that I was probably looking at the wrong 45. Let's see, 90. Where are you hiding, 90? Yeah, you're up here. Now, Cleveland's in Ohio, right? So, hmm, 90. There's a 44. Yep, 45. I, we were looking at the wrong 45. <laughs> uh, gotta love that. I'm not sure what these little roads are, to be honest, but from what I can tell, these little circles are state routes, and these little shields are U.S. routes. There is a difference between them. Our road system is confusing like that. So if we're around here and we're going east, I guess that means we were more around there to start off with. Yeah, because this way we're going east, and it was a half mile away. We're near an Ashtabula. That might be just what it leads to, because I'm not seeing that around here anywhere. Let's see. It's just Kind of as an estimation, I'd say this is probably around where we are. I don't know. It's really kind of hard to be able to estimate well. But maybe a little closer. We might even be closer than that. It's hard to judge without any kind of scale provided for you. Oh, we were over here. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I think what was happening is since I was turning around to get that way, that's why I was over here. Oh, still, two and a half miles isn't bad. It's pretty good, actually. This does not look like the U.S. Aha. Yeah. Well, it's definitely not the U.S. now. <laughs> uh, could be looking at Sweden or maybe Finland again. Or near Jatsburg. Hmm. Let's see if we can figure out what road we're on, and then we'll kind of go from there like we did with the Finland one. Hmm. I mean, if we're on one of those, like, E roads, then it might be difficult to really figure out where we are, because yeah, these roads are very long. Let's just kind of put it somewhere around here in Sweden. It's kind of a preliminary guess. That we will revise later as we get more information about where we are. Norregard. Alright. It's possible we're in Norway. I just kind of see those. Even Finland, I just kind of see those crazy little accent marks and assume Sweden by default. <laughs> because I don't, I can't really tell the difference, to be honest. I'm not good enough at European languages to really know any kind of way to tell the difference. Oh, we're near an Ingolstadt. And there's like a Karlstad here, so... 
the, I know there's stads in Sweden, but there's also a stad in Norway, so that doesn't really mean anything. Um, are you gonna tell us anything about where we are? Because that would be wonderful. Because. Pretty much my ability to go from making a wild guess to actually getting an idea of where we are relies on actually being able to know, like, what road we're on. <laughs> like, we're on one of these E roads, one of these blue roads, or one of these, like, white roads that they use in Norway. Let's go back to start. Go the other way. See what we can find this way. So, 70 kilometer speed limit. Got the phone to shut up. Hmm. Like, none of these town names are useful to me because I'm not, there's no way I'm going to be able to find them in Sweden. But, like, a road number is something I deal with to figure out. Doesn't seem like we're going to get that luxury, though, of a road number that's tells us where we are. We're near a Jan and a Vaxco. Yeah, I assume that since these are like... Since it's such a large distance, so it was probably a major city, so we found the Vaxco. Where's the Jan? Looks like this is probably North South Road. So we could potentially be on this 29 of the 23. Let's look around a little bit. See if we can't maybe find that jet. Or any of these other names. Like Urschult. Or Vackel saying. Hmm. Just want to see if we can find, like, any of these names to give us an idea of where we might be. But. Doesn't sound like we're gonna find that. But we're definitely in Sweden. So let's just go around a little bit farther. And see if we can't find anything about where we are. Or like what road we're on. I don't really want to look on like all of these roads just to see if I can find anything about where I might be. I probably won't even be able to see any of those cities on this level of zoom, to be honest. I originally thought we were going to North South Road, but this is a pretty crazy curvy road. So I don't even know anymore. I'm just kind of basing it off of this little compass here. Which you can also use to turn yourself around. And get all confused. But we're like 28 from Vax Joe, so to put it say around there maybe. Could be going the other way, but let's see. So I completely forgot that it seems like we were on a north-south road. 
Oh, okay. We're on this some crazy little road here. But still, not bad. Doesn't even seem like this road had any kind of name. Yeah. We're just on this long, crazy little road that doesn't even have any kind of name. So, no way I was going to find that, but 4900, not bad. Hmm. This reddish dirt makes me think. Probably South Africa or Australia. Based on, like, kind of the red dirt, deserty look. Very long, flat road. South Fontaine, okay. Pretty sure we're in South Africa. We might not be in it, be near Bloemfontein, but doesn't seem like we can go down this road, damn. Alright, so we're in South Africa. Question is where? We're probably on some kind of R road. We could actually be on one of these ma more major roads, but usually we're on one of these R roads in South Africa. Just kind of based on my experience with this game. say anything I needed to know. Something about the glim. <laughs> Douse the glim. It doesn't seem like we're gonna find anything about like what road we're on unless this tells us. No. <coughs> So if I'm not gonna find anything about what road we're in, I'm just gonna kinda resort to, uh, like, some crazy random guessing. Can we get up there? No, it doesn't seem like we can get up there. So we're seeing all these, like, tiny towns that I'm not ever going to find on the map and nothing that tells us, like, what road we're on or what big cities we're near. But, just out of curiosity... Let's see. Probably nothing important. If I don't find anything over this hill, I'm gonna go back to the start and I'm gonna turn around. See if we can find anything out of this way. Oh, we're near some big rock, but that doesn't really tell us anything. <coughs> doesn't seem like we're gonna find anything. So let's put it out near, like, up here somewhere.
Now we're all the way over here. Alright. So, not a great score, but we'll live with it. What the hell is this crazy place? In a very poor area. <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe. Probably Brazil? But it could be Mexico. I don't really know of any way to tell the difference between Spanish and Portuguese is someone who does not know either language. But fortunately we don't need to know the difference. Well you know what I said about this being poor area, never mind about that. <laughs> We're just in a small town that's kind of near a fairly big city, most likely. Maybe this is just what all cities look like in Brazil, and I'm just crazy. That's also entirely possible. Should I see something that told us something about like where we are? Probably not. Unless this has a little bit like a road. And uh, you know, look around a little bit, see if we can maybe find something that tells us a road number, but other than that, probably not gonna bother that much. Really seeing if I can figure out where I am because I am do not speak Portuguese at all. I don't understand it. So that's just kind of bumming around there somewhere. Yeah, we were up here near Bellum. Alright, 16,000. Not terrible, I guess. <laughs> Worse than the last time. Alright, America, potato quality, let's just put like around here somewhere. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Why you do this to me, game? Suwamu Salimi. Alright. Okay, now twenty-seven. So, probably in like northern Finland. I don't know if we'll be able to see that city on this level of zoom. Let's see, where are they? Like nine thousands. All right, there's like ninety-four hundreds up here, so. Kinda go down some and see if we can uh, find. Uh, it's ninety two hundred. I want ninety one twenty seven. There's ninety two hundred. That's possible. That other city might actually be in like. That city might actually be in Sweden. It's possible. Don't want 8,500. We're going right from 9,200 to 8,500. That is now what I want. Are there any blue roads around here? I mean, I'm assuming that the roads kind of go down in number somewhat evenly. As in, like, a 9,100 would be near a 9,200, but. I don't know, I could be way off with that assumption. Let's go back over here, because I thought I saw the 9200 over here. Hmm. I don't know.
Do we need to go up? I don't know what direction we need to go in. But... Let's just kind of go near where we saw the 9200s and put it like right there or something. Hmm. Maybe we just need to go more to the right or something. Like, maybe up this way? Hmm. I don't know. And looking for roads is basically a long and rather boring process, to be honest, so... I don't really see it anyway. It's probably gonna be easier to just plop it around there and hope we're close. <laughs> and we're all the way over here near the Russian border. Yeah, that's not where I would have looked. <laughs> oh well. Still got 4,200, because Finland's not that big. Very to like, this monolith here. Oh my, are we in Brazil again? Think we might be in Brazil again. Possible we're in Mexico, but oh, Colombia. All right. Yeah, I mean, if I see Spanish and like little city, I just kind of default to assume but Brazil or Mexico. If we're in Colombia, then I guess let's put it like maybe around here somewhere. Alright, we're up here near Panama. Well, it's not terrible. Snow. God loves snow. Okay, just get see what this says. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we're in the same, like, Sweden area again. <sighs> I see Finland pop up a lot, so we might be in Finland. But, I don't know. I just kind of tend to assume Sweden, even though I shouldn't. Near 250. They have 250 in Sweden. Let's just go pop it right around here. So I thought they had like triple digit white roads. Or they might have been Finland. Might have been uh, Finland, yes. I was thinking of Finland. Alright. So let's go this way and see if we can find a 250 somewhere. That's like 360, that's too far. It's hard to find things when they just kind of jumble all this together. So 313, 312, uh, 296. Well, that's closer to what we're looking for. 295. Do we need to go this way? Seems like it. 83, 84, 82, 
13. That's not quite what I want. What happens if we go even farther this way? 196. Is 250 like some major road? Probably not. That's when I could see really zoomed out. Well, I don't know really where to look to be honest. Let's look around just a bit more, see if maybe we could find that 250. There's 270 up there. Alright, now uh, just screw it. Let's just put it around here and see what happens. I'm honestly not sure where we could be. Oh, we were in Norway. Alright. Yeah, I mean... Can you usually tell if we're in Sweden or Finland? Because Finland usually has, like, the... Double vowels or just double letters in general. But... I don't really know of any way to tell if we're in Norway without knowing the language itself. Alright. Yeah, so... What I might just end up doing is kinda record some full games, then maybe kinda record individual interesting rounds as I see them. Things I uh, see and include, like... Japan, Far East Russia, see like Romania, Czech, Hungary, Bulgaria, Poland. Seen a lot of stuff around here. Seen like these crazy little islands. Most of the European countries have seen also seen like Thailand and Indonesia occasionally. Hmm. I'm not really figuring much out about where we are, so let's just kinda put it in Australia and see what happens. Oh. Yeah. I mean it didn't seem like there was any way out of there crazy little road without getting turned around constantly. Yeah, we would have had to go quite a ways to get here. But yeah, like, I've seen Botswana, Zimbabwe, South Africa, Swaziland. <laughs> We're doing worse every time we try. It's just wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, what are we looking at here? Oh, ah, well, that's helpful. Eisenborg, Stockholm, those are things I can find. Let's see, Stockholm, so where's the Heisenborg? Oh, there's Helsingborg. It's hell and not high. Okay, so we're subway in this crazy little road here. Let's just put it like there. Oops. Since that's the closest city you can find. Okay, we're. So we'll be around 26 kilometers off if we put it here. 465 from Stockholm. 136 from Jankaping. And 36 from. 26 from Lejungbi. So I guess we're maybe down there or something. Don't want to spend too much time on this. So I just want to see if 
maybe in this game I can find something interesting before I decide to just stop recording, but yeah, screw it. Let's put it like around here. Alright, so I overestimated, but not bad. What are we looking at here? Just kind of based on the trees, I'm thinking probably Brazil. Brazil does pop up a lot in my experience. Maybe we can find words of some kind to support that mindless guess, possibly. I saw a bus before. What about that bus? I want to know what you say, bus. You do not seem to say anything interesting. You disappoint me, boss. Phone number's also more. It's technically possible we might be like Talon or something, but would have seen this crazy language here. If we were so. That's one in Brazil. Might be in Mexico, though. It's also possible. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. Uh, oh, we were in Colombia. Alright. What are we looking at here now? Spanish again. Well, I guess I shouldn't say Spanish. Spanish and Portuguese both look like Spanish to me, but maybe one of these signs was something I can be helped by on them. It doesn't seem like that's gonna help. Just want to know if I'm in Brazil or Mexico, really. Uh, let's put it in Mexico, see what happens. Aha, we were in Mexico. Yeah, now I'm just devolving into mindless guessing. But it's usually fairly easy to tell what country you're in. Well. Oh, interesting. I'm actually gonna go to the bathroom real quick, then we're gonna come back to this. I'm not familiar with these zeros, but I think we might be in like Zimbabwe or something. I'm actually not sure where we are. I am not familiar with this road system and the road naming conventions. It doesn't seem like Lesotho has names at all. I'm actually kind of curious as to where this is. Looks 
for me. The Z makes me think Zimbabwe, but... I don't know, it could be way off on that. Could even be in South Africa. And I'm just not seeing these Z roads. Zoom in on some of these major cities, maybe. See if there's any Z roads. I don't know. Yeah, there's MNR. No, I'm not really sure myself. But it doesn't seem like any of that is what I'm looking for. I mean, I haven't really seen it in any up of any of these countries. It's really just like these three right here. Well, let's put it there and see what happens. I'm not really sure what we're going to get. Okay, we were in South Africa. But... I don't know what was up with those zeroes, but I guess they just don't show up on Google Maps. I'm not really sure what's up with that, to be honest. I guess Google Maps just doesn't recognize them. See, I'll do maybe like one more time. Let's put in like Australia. South Africa, whatever. Just want to see if there's maybe anything to be found that's interesting. Eh, yeah, this is kind of interesting. Not really sure what we're looking at here. Definitely some very nice scenery. that I think I've really seen much of before. I don't know, let's just put it like up here since I thought I saw words like that. I don't know, I mean, it just doesn't seem like anything I'm going to be able to figure out. Alright, we were down in Norway. That's fine. Let's just kind of like put it there. Very open area with some trees. Yeah, with these Russia, yes, this is what you also see sometimes. And it is Russia. I'm actually gonna look around a little bit, see if maybe I can figure out like what road we're on. I mean, I would normally do very well on Russian ones, but in the off chance I might actually be able to find something useful, I'll look around a bit. No, I don't think we're going to be finding anything, so let's put it like out there somewhere. Oh, that's actually a pretty good guess. That was a very lucky guess, considering how big Russia is. I think we are in... Well, that answers that question. France. Yes, there's Tours. So we're looking for D323. That's probably going to be quite hard to find given the amount of day roads here. Where's Tours? Here's Tours. And the 323 is just from a quick look around. Up. 
possibly let's put it like on top of doors all right we're pretty close It said 323. It goes up this way. It doesn't actually go through tours. That's why I wasn't able to find it. Alright, that's it for this recording. So, I don't know. Hope you enjoyed, and I don't know if I'll be continuing the series, but I guess I'll see you next time.